another episode of Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue. On today's episode, I'm going to be doing a little test. Uh, you know, the other day I had a guy tell me that if I wasn't using a name brand charcoal, and we'll get into that later, that I wasn't making good barbecue. And I just don't believe that. So today, we're going to make two racks of ribs. We're going to prepare them the same. We're going to rub them down the same. We're going to put the same smoke on them. We're going to do everything the same. Cook them the exact same amount of time. We're, we're going to do everything exactly the same on them. Except, for one, I'll be using a bag of regular original Kingsford. And on the other one, I'll be using regular old Brookshire's brand. And we're going to see if there really is a difference. So y'all come along and we'll see if we can't get this figured out once and for all. Okay, so for our first rack of baby back ribs, and like I said, we're going to do both of them exactly the same. Uh, I've got this rack of baby back ribs that I bought at the local meat market uh, in Decatur. And we're going to do them the, the normal way. I've already peeled the membrane off. I've showed you guys how to do that often enough. If you, if you still don't know how to do it, go back and watch one of my earlier videos uh, on how to do ribs, and I'll show you that. I'll show you in those videos how to pull that membrane off. It's actually really simple and really easy. Uh, so we're just going to take a little bit of mustard. Just a little bit down there. Just, just a binder. It doesn't add flavor or anything to it. It might help a little bit with the color of them. I don't know. Uh, my buddy uh, Hobo Chris over at uh, Hobo Nickel Barbecue, he's got a video out demonstrating different types of binders you can use and if there's any perceivable differences between them and all that so y'all go check him out I'll put a link to his uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description uh, but yeah we're just gonna put a little bit of mustard on there to act as a binder then I, I got some uh, right barbecue company right rub that we're gonna season these up with this leaves up this makes an awesome color on the ribs once they're cooked. It's got great flavor to it. Uh, I'm not getting paid by them or anything like that. I, I don't get it for free. I just have I enjoy the I enjoy the rub. So I figured I'd tell you guys about it. And this is the bone side. We're, so we're just gonna lightly season the bottom the uh, bottom bone side of it. We're gonna go ahead and flip it on over. And you can see this is uh it's all natural pork. And it's a better quality than you would normally get it just like your Hormel at your grocery store. Uh, you can see there's a whole lot more actual meat on them than you would normally find. And less fat. Which I think is going to be delicious. So we're going to give it a shot. And we're going to sprinkle this liberally over it. You guys know how to do it. I've showed you before. All right, that's it. These ribs are seasoned up and ready to go. We're going to go get our fire started, let these sit for a little bit, kind of sweat, absorb some of that seasoning, and uh, we'll come back once that fire started and we get these ribs put on. All right. Here we are. We've gone, <clears throat> we got about three hours into the smoke on these ribs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them up. And what I've done is I've just got some I got some uh, butter and some honey. I'm going to spritz some apple juice down on there and then we're going to wrap them up real tight and then put them back on. All right. All right. Then we're going to take then we're going to take these ribs that wrapped up nice and tight. We're going to go take, put them back on the smoker for about another hour and a half, 2 hours. Y'all stick around. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. We got the ribs are done now. Uh Took a lot longer than I expected with the uh, store brand charcoal, and I used a lot more of the charcoal than I expected I would. Uh, ended up using almost a full bag of charcoal, which is not what I expected at all. Uh, but they're done, and they look and smell delicious. Let's go ahead and cut into these here. Oh yeah, there we go. 
There you go. See, there's there's the ribs. You got some decent pullback off of the bone. Right there, you can see some decent pullback. Uh, I've let them rest for a little bit, so we'll go go ahead and slice on them and uh, let's see what we got. Let's take a bite. That's still hot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, those are good. That right rub makes a real nice uh, rub for these ribs. That's really good. Uh, I spritzed them every hour with apple juice. Let's go ahead and take another bite just so you can see how tender or not tender they are. Nice clean bite to the bone. They're not fall apart, but they're still good. All right, the next part of this video, I'll be showing you part of the process for cooking the other rack of ribs. I'll be doing that tomorrow. And uh, we'll be doing it with the Kingsford just Kingsford original and we'll see if we get a different result from this uh, I was skeptical at first but something tells me we might all right y'all y'all sit tight and I'm, I'll show you that here in a bit okay folks here we are the next day uh, as you can see I've got these baby back ribs already all seasoned up I didn't show you how I did that because I did it the exact same way that I did it yesterday that you saw just a few minutes ago in the video uh, just Use some mustard, classic mellow, uh, yellow mustard for the uh, the binder, and then put some of the right rub rub seasoning on it all over it, front and back. Rubbed it on there. It's been sitting in here, getting nice and tacky. Uh, I went ahead and got the fire started. I started it the exact same way that I did uh, yesterday. Uh, same number of briquettes, charcoal briquettes that I got preheated. Put them in the charcoal basket. Fill it up with the same number of briquettes. Uh, the only thing I'm doing different is I'm using Kingsford name brand charcoal this time instead of the no name store brand and we're gonna see if it makes a difference I was skeptical at first but now at, after yesterday's debacle not really debacle but at, at, after yesterday I'm really kind of thinking it probably is gonna make a difference so yeah we're, we're gonna go ahead and get these thrown on the grill on the uh, kettle and we're gonna see what happens all right I'll bring you along stick with me all right guys we are here as you can see these are looking really good uh, I'm fixing to wrap them up and uh, throw them back on for a little bit so we're gonna do them the exact same way we did before which is grab the boils Need to move these up out of my way. We're just going to take some butter. We're just going to throw some butter down in the middle just like we did before okay we're gonna take our Take and spray some apple juice on them. And then we're just going to set our ribs on there. Make sure. Flip them upside down. Spray our ribs. And wrap them up. And we're going to go 
we'll take and put them back out on the smoker. All right, so here we are. Uh, the test is complete. I have done both sets of ribs uh, using regular Kingsford charcoal and using uh, uh, regular old store, brought, store brand charcoal and have come to some definite conclusions. We'll talk about those in a second. But first, let's go ahead and cut these ribs and give a sample. Let's see, we'll cut right along here. You can see already those are quite a bit more tender than the other ones were. Mmm, they're tastier too. Uh, cut right along here. Boom. Alright. So there we go. There's the cut rib. It's got a nice smoke ring. It's still plenty juicy, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, let's give it a taste, a, t uh, a, a test bite. A clean bite, right to the bone. These are not pull off the bone tender, but they are definitely more tender than the other ones. And uh, the amazing thing is, I did them in almost half the time. These were right at three hours to cook. Uh, I also used only a half a bag of charcoal. Uh, on, on the other ones with the store brought brand charcoal, I used a full bag and still could have probably used more to get a, a better cook. Uh, See what else? Oh yeah, the uh, the name brand charcoal actually lit faster and got up to a hotter temp and maintained that temp way better than the store brand did. Uh, so yeah, my conclusions are, and I'm really quite shocked to say this, it does make a difference. The, yes, you can do it with store brand charcoal, but go ahead and spend the extra money get the name brand charcoal and in the end save yourself some time and money because the store brand charcoal was almost exactly half the price of the name brand charcoal and I did the cooking half the time and I still have half a bag left over so there you go alright y'all I'm gonna enjoy these ribs uh, we'll see you next time on Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue